Hello everyone, today I will tell you how to grow a beautiful red crystal of salt at home. For this we need ammonium sulfate and cobalt sulfate. To begin, let's take a glass and weigh 53.14 grams of cobalt sulfate and 26.6 grams of ammonium sulfate onto it. Thereafter, pour 400 ml of hot water into the vessel and stir rapidly until all the salt have been dissolved. Now we will leave our beaker with a solution for a day, so that crystals can be formed on the bottom of the glass. During the day the double salt crystals of cobalt ammonium sulfate are being formed on the bottom of the glass. Crystals of the salt grow better and are more stable in the air. A day later and we can see that many beautiful red crystals were formed at the bottom of the our container. Pour the salt solution into another container and put the crystals on top plate. You should choose the largest and the most beautiful crystal of the crystal mass to grow a beautiful right shaped single crystal. Also, I advise you not to take the cobalt ammonium sulfate with your bare hands. It's better to do it with gloves on. This crystal will serve as a seed. The selected crystal should be tied to a fishing line and hang in a glass or jar into which you have poured the salt solution. Now we just simply have to wait until the crystal will grow. A glass with a crystal can be put away in a cupboard so that less dust will get into it. After a week or two, you'll notice that the main crystal began to increase in size and is obtaining the correct geometrical shape. This form is due to the chemical composition and the material crystal lattice of which crystal growth occurs. You can't just change this form by your will. After the crystal has reached the desired size, you can simply remove it from the solution to stop its growth. The matured crystal is separated from the line and dried with a paper cloth. To protect the crystal from drying out and having contact with the skin, it must be covered by two layers of a clear nail polish. This way the crystal will be better protected. It's worth nothing that the resulting crystal is quite fragile. If you drop it on the floor, it can break apart. The excess solution can be left in a dry place until it's fully dried out and the remaining precipitated crystal can be reused. And now let's look at the beauty of the resulting crystal without further comments.